So recently, I took a pretty, pretty unique form of transit as one leg of a saga to get from where I was, uh, my hometown in Iowa for the holidays, back to Philadelphia. And here is the story of how that went down. All right, coming to you live from the Straight River Rest Area in Minnesota. Uh, this is actually a brand new to me one, so I'm gonna stretch my legs a little bit. Plus, look at this. Look at this thing. I'm gonna try. Fingers just about froze off doing that. So the Land to Air Express runs three main routes with varying stops. The Highway 169 connection, the Minneapolis-St. Paul Airport Express, and the Southern Minnesota connection. I took the latter of the three, catching the bus in St. Peter and riding it to the airport. I hung out with my brother who goes to Gustavus and St. Peter for a bit before walking down into town. All right. I know you can't see my face right now, but we are in beautiful St. Peter, Minnesota. Walking to the Land to Air Transport bus. And I'll let you know when we get there when there's a little bit more light. This is one of the greatest playgrounds of all time. If you know, you know. All right, so here's the situation. We are in the, the co-op parking lot, which is where the bus is supposed to pick me up, and no sign of it yet, but I'm sure it'll show up one of these days. Alright, bus station review. Uh, so, that is something. Technically, if I needed food, I'm at the co-op, so I got plenty of options. Uh, only issue, only issues honestly are of my own creation. Like I could be inside if I wanted. I, this is as good a spot as any. Uh, all right, here's the tea. My 6.25 departure time has come and gone. Nowhere in sight. And there's also no bus tracker, so I'll keep you posted. I knew she'd make it. I didn't even have to show my ticket to get on board. I just told the driver my last name and he crossed me off on the, his clipboard. The total cost of this trip was only about $15, which was the cost to fill up my brother's car after I drove it from Waverly to St. Peter. For a route not serviced well by any other public transit modes, I think Land to Air Express fills a huge need for the Southern Minnesota community, especially for Gustavus students out of state who need to fly home for holidays and breaks. This was my first time using this bus, but I wish I'd taken better advantage of this service while I was in college. The seat was comfy and the passengers were generally super quiet as we rolled out of St. Peter and up to the cities on what might be my favorite stretch of highway anywhere. After a brief stop at the Marshall Road Transportation Center in Shakopee, we were on to our final destination, the MSP Airport.
right, we made it to the airport uh, on the classic land-to-land -land transportation. Uh, that was actually some top-tier bus service. Uh, but yeah, now I'm just waiting, waiting for yet another form of grand ground transportation, and then that'll be, will be it until tomorrow. Later. All right, we have reached the airport. We are through security and we are just hanging for the next like two hours until it's time to board. But yeah, that was, was not a very multimodal morning, but we got here and that's what counts. Once I got to the airport, I had time to just hang out, find a spot, do some work because it was the first day of classes for me and get some serious plane spotting in. One of the coolest planes I got to see was one of Delta's MD-11s. These are becoming rare birds. Here is the CRJ-900 that I would be flying on. And just like that, it was time to get on my plane back to Philly. I gambled on a gate assigned seat and won. Not only did I get the window seat I wanted, I got the exit row with extra leg room.
Since we landed in Terminal F, I had to hop on one of these inter-terminal transportation shuttles to get back to ground transportation accessible terminals. I chose the bus going to Terminal A. It was actually super cool to see all of the airplanes from the runway perspective. This is something I'd never really done before. Alright, we are back in Philly. That's good old good old friend the airport line train behind me. Uh friend the uh construction platform surrounding me on all so I'm not actually sure what the situation is here, but hopefully it works the same as it always has. Uh yeah, I might be going straight to this uh this meeting I have because it's it's getting kinda late. Sure enough, that's exactly what I did. I didn't get a whole lot of footage beyond getting on the airport line, but I took the MFL to 5th Street in Old City, then hopped on the number 57 bus going to South Philly, got off where I needed to, and then just walked the rest of the way. Unfortunately, uh, not a whole lot of footage of the stuff in between. Alright, so post-meeting, post-hustling from the airport to the train, to the bus, to the meeting. Uh, and as much as I try and be just this multimodal god of transit, I just simply am not. Like, there, there are so many other people on YouTube that I really look up to who do this and, like, have bus schedules like painted on the inside of their island. I'm not that guy. So that's why I'm walking a lot of blocks to Broad Street from Southwest Philly. You get this gorgeous view and the fact that it's 50 degrees and not 20 degrees helps a lot with that. Here's, I can't say I didn't miss the row homes, but yeah, I think I think this is where I'm going to wrap it, but thanks for following the adventure, and more to come, more to come, <laughs> more to come. I'll, I'll get the bus schedules right this time.